Hello CAA Facebook fans. We are here at the Keeneland Concourse Delegates in Lexington, Kentucky, and we are with Tom Burgess, who's going to tell us a little bit about this vehicle. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning, CAA members. Glad you're with us today. This, this vehicle is a Brewster vehicle. It's called a basket morning Phaeton, three spring. It has uh, the front spring and the two back. Uh, it's a wicker uh, carriage. Uh, the Brewster records call for a um, pigskin dash, which is there. The upholstery is a little different too. It's called camel cloth, camel's cloth, which is a very durable cloth. It's like Carhartt fabric. In fact, this is Carhartt fabric on these, this uh, carriage here right now. Um, interesting thing is we were talking about the suspension on this vehicle. It, it has both a pole and a shaft, of course, but then the uh, pole has suspension with a spring which was specified with the Brewster Records too, 16 and a half inch spring. Also, the coupling, and I'm not quite sure what to call the coupling down here where it attaches onto the carriage, because it has a bolt that goes through it. It's not a Bradley coupling, it's just a bolt that goes down through it. It has a fixed nut on the bottom side. It also has keepers, leather keepers, to, to uh, stabilize the pole then also. The front has the yoke, of course, like they would have with floating pole. An interesting fact about this carriage here, and it kind of goes contrary to all the things we talk about with CAA and uh, turnout and so forth, is that the record specified two things. One is rubber tires, but it also specified on, on the reach and the, uh, down below there too, it says a rub iron. Now, for uh -huh. most all of us, we know that when we have a rubber tire, we're supposed to have a rolling rub iron. This one is fixed, and it's attached permanently to the pole. It's part of the, of the um, metal part underneath. So. That was specified in Brewster Records, and uh, it's a little unusual, but uh, it's not flat like most of our scrapers we see as far as the fixed ones. This one's actually rolled itself as far as the metal's rolled, but it doesn't have a roller in it. Our feeling is that this is probably associated with the fact that they were trying to reduce any kind of noise on this carriage. Um, you were telling me last night about these, t these wheels? Yes. Okay, and so what makes these wheels special? Well, the rubber tires for one thing, because typically we might have, we might have had a, a metal tire, but they're also um, wooden, wooden spoke tires and so forth too, staggered, staggered spokes. Um, it has uh, silver um, fittings on it, silver fittings on the, on the hubs, silver fittings on the, the front of the, the uh, shaft and also the front of the pole too. Okay. Um, it has the original um, uh, wrench with it, wheel wrench with it too. Ah, okay. fantastic. And it has the uh, parasol top, which uh, record specified black lining, white fringe. Oh. Okay. And what color is the lining normally? Is it normally a lighter it, it, color? It would be a lighter color in most cases, but this record specified a black, black, black lining on the white fringe. That's good to know. Yeah. And those are the Brewster records that we have access to through, have, the through the CAA our, through our office. CAA, right, yes. We appreciate the CA putting those on for us, taking care of things. This is a beautifully done, Tom always turns out his vehicles impeccably. Tom did the upholstery for me. The uh, woodwork and everything else was done actually in 2010 by Double E Carriages in uh, Burdenhand, Pennsylvania. What is different about what they did and, and what Tom did, the uh, fabric is difficult to work with. This Carhartt fabric does not stretch. So as far as trying to do um, upholstery work and making stretch to make the pleats in the back seat and so forth, very difficult to do and Double E just couldn't get that accomplished. So uh, we contacted Tom and he said he'd be glad to do it for us. Now but which Tom are we talking Tom about? Tom Shelton in, in okay. Uh, um, North Carolina, okay. Asheboro, North Carolina. Even he said this is probably the most difficult upholstery job he's ever had to do. Wow, that's uh, something coming from him. Yeah. Well, let's take a quick tour around okay. it and see what we can see. It's getting very hot here very quickly, so pardon the heat haze. All the wicker is original. Um, it's just there were a few, beautiful wicker. A, a few places that had to be corrected on the on the wings. They need to be changed. Um, we did discuss some with the Brewster drawings that are on on file now too for us. Uh, the drawing number was uh, two three six one nine, and that was used for several other vehicles at the same time too. This one has a pigskin dash. The other record we found specified a wicker dash. So uh, uh, they could make a change there, but I think that the overall outline of the carriage stayed pretty much the same way. Okay. 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 Let's 
The original restoration was done in 2010. Okay. Uh, this carriage was owned by David Rockefeller in uh, Sleepy mm. Hollow, New York. And uh, after his passing, uh, we purchased for this from the uh, family in uh, New York. Okay. It has not been driven as far as we know. Really? Not been driven. No. Never been driven? Never been driven since wow. restoration. No. Okay, so I'm going to get underneath it for just a moment so we can see that. The detail that they put on these, just the little details, is just amazing. Well, the, the finish work that the W group did too, as far as working with the wood and finishing the wood and the stain and so forth, it's a beautiful, beautiful job. It, it's just fantastic. The finish just shines like, like it it's does. Off a mirror. It does. I'm glad we were out here early because I think the shine off the uh, sun later is going to uh, prohibit. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tom, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, CA members. The pigtails. Sparks something that people just won't go away and just create a new feature design vehicle.